Now, we've done links with text, but we can link other ways too. We don't have to just link with text. We can link with images also. And that's pretty common too, right? Like a lot of websites have uh, some nice graphics sometimes, buttons or whatnot, right? That are serving as links, right? And this might be in a menu or it might be uh, on an opening page, right? To like, uh, well, it's not super common now, but it was really common, I don't know, a couple decades ago where you'd have a giant image and that image was sort of the uh, the opening, right? And you click on it to enter the page, right? So let me just show you really quickly how to make an image into a link to if that's what you want to do. Um, oh, on some websites, you might have small little images, right? That might serve as a gallery, right? And then when you click on them, it shows you a larger version of the picture, right? So something like that might work too. So right now, I've been using this image of a kitten that I just took from Google, which is really not a good idea because I don't know if I really have permission to use it. So let's uh, let's correct that. So I'm going to go to Unsplash, which is a website that uh, photographers submit pretty nice photos to, um, and people can use them for free. They appreciate if you uh, give them credit, right, for it, but you don't necessarily have to. So there we go. We'll choose uh, we'll choose this little guy, right? And so. Um, previously, I screenshotted it to grab it. These are super high quality images. Like you could use this in like a book, and it would look nice still. Um, so instead of that, I'm going to I'm going to open the image in a new tab, and then I'm going to make this window smaller to sort of um, crop it right to make it to resize it without having to go into Photoshop. Now, if you're on a PC, you don't necessarily have the same method I have to screenshot, right? I'm using Command Shift 4 on a Mac. Um, you might need to use the snipping tool, which, depending on which version of Windows, uh, you may have to go and download. But this is the most common way to screenshot on a PC. So I've got that now, right? And, um, oh, but I can't, okay. So I need to go to GitHub to actually upload it, right? Because I can't upload to Markdown Editor, and that's fine. So I'll hop on over to my, my GitHub account, right? Here is my Markdown repository that I've been using, and my images folder. And I'll go ahead and upload that picture. Uh, I didn't rename it, so right now it has a pretty terrible name, but that's OK. It's finished uploading it, right? Now I need to actually click the Commit Changes button. So just because it's uploaded in GitHub doesn't mean it's actually like saved it. Like it's ready to save. It's there. I have to press the green button so it actually stays there. There we go. Go back to Images. Here is my new cat picture with the terrible name. I should rename that, but it's all right. Going to open image in new tab. Keep in mind that this URL is not the URL of the image. Even though it says .png on the end, it's not the URL of the image. It's the URL of this page that shows information about the image. So open image in new tab. Here we go. Here is the actual URL. I'll copy that and I will put that into here. Right there we go. Now I've got this nice little kitten that is actually okay for me to use because I've taken it from a website that is specifically designed to be okay for me to use. Okay, so anyway, how to make an image a link, right? So, um, yeah. Basically, all we do is we've got this link here, right? And we just, instead of having text there, we put a tag for an image there. So, I could grab this exact image tag I've already made, and I could just drop it in there. That works, right? So I can put a reference in there. And if I hover over here, you can see the cursor has changed to a link. So if I open link in new tab, it was like me to Google, right? What I can also do is I don't have to do by reference if I don't want to. I could instead use the parenthesis method, right? And I can grab that URL that I had before. And I can stick in a title for it too if I want to still. So what a cute kitten, right? 
And so now we can see that it still, it still works, right? So either method, I can either have the full um, image tag in there like this, or I can do the reference method. And same thing um, for this link method. Right now I'm using the link method that does by reference, right? And you can see my reference down here. I could change this instead, oops, instead to the parentheses method if I wanted to instead. So HTTP slash slash www.google.com, right? And that works too, right? So we can see here still that, um, that it works. Being that I have changed these from by reference to the uh, original way that I showed you, I could delete these references now as well, right? So I don't need both. It doesn't make sense to have these references down here if I'm not using the reference method.